Hey traders, silver and gold time. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video. Trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There is no guarantees of making money in the markets. And trading is the most hardest thing you'll ever do and it takes a long time to become a good trader. So this video is just educational only. If you're struggling with your trading right now, then click on the very first link in the description and get a free training, the seven universal laws to become a master trader that will boost your success, consistency and confidence without spending a decade trying to figure it out. Click on the very first link in the description right now. All right, traders, let's have a look at silver and gold here. Silver and gold's been having a bit of a pullback. Right now we're getting silver having a little small pullback with uh, with what's happening right now to, uh, today in the last couple of days. Just a small little pullback. So what's really going on with with silver there? And then also gold, what's happening in gold right now? Getting a small little pullback right now. So let, that's what this video is all about. It's like what's really happening overall on silver and gold and what's been going on there. Now, the first thing I must say is that, especially when you go back to especially when you go back to silver, okay? Silver, you can see how we had this big drop down and this rally back up, and now we're holding here quite strong. That's actually quite a strong signal. And I would say that we're getting ready now to turn around and start to start to have a nice run back up to the, nice run back up to the high side with silver there. You can see, um, I do believe we're like to start seeing nice, a nice, nice move back up to the high side when it comes to, when it comes to that. As you can see, we've had this big drop down and the thing is this, is when you're looking at this here, let me go back to this weekly chart here for a minute. You can see here on this weekly chart that we had this level of support here. Support and resistance through there. And we had support and resistance through there. And so we had this support, support, broke down, rally back up, and now we're, bro now we're broken back up again. This little here was a false breakout for me, or what I believe, a false breakout, rally back up. Now we're sideways on this weekly chart. And I believe over the next couple of weeks, we're likely to start seeing a nice rally up and out of this here. So that's what we see there on silver. But not only that, if we go back and have a look at this monthly chart here, I wanna share with you, don't have to worry about, actually, you know what? That's the 52 moving as 52. That's 52 months. That doesn't really mean anything there. Um, in fact, it's really interesting, right? Look at that 52, 52 month moving average. Just hold it there quite nicely. But let's go and have a look at this chart here. I want to share with you just a blank chart on what I see here happening on silver. Okay, let's actually go to the SLV price so we get a bit more, bit more data here. And this is what I'm seeing here overall on silver right now. As you can see, that this market has, the market did actually drop back down, false breakout, rally back up, support, support. Now we're just going sideways through here. I believe, look at this, what's happening right now, and then we go to this weekly chart, and then we go to the daily chart. You can see everything's now timing way in, and I do believe we're likely to start holding here and continue to rally up and out. Again, especially on this monthly chart here. And once we do start to rally up and out, we're gonna see a quite, quite a nice, nice bullish run out of this. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a very, very nice bullish run. Onto silver, on the onto the gold chart, you can see what's happening here on this gold monthly charts. What's happening here? We continue to get this rise. Look at that there. Nice rise up out of that monthly chart there. We're creating this higher low through here. We've got this higher low through here, and we've got this higher low through here. And now we're just now we're just getting to this point now we're at that this sort of at this resistance level right now. Sort of squeezing up into that resistance level. Go to the weekly chart there. And you can see what's happened right now. We just squirt, we're just at that level of there of that weekly resistance. And now we're having just a bit of a bit of a small pullback on the weekly chart there. And again, this is the what the weekly chart looks like. So even if we do get a, a, a decent pullback here out of gold, the long-term trend for me is completely up. And once again, you go look at that look at that monthly chart there, and you can see what's happening right now. We did break we did break past these major support levels through here in the um, in 2015. 2016 came up, broke back below, but now we're finding a lot of support. We're building and building and building and building strength. Once this actually starts to break up and on the actual gold price. Once we actually start to break up and out of the 1350, then I do see that we're likely to start to, then we're likely to start to get a support, support, support. And I believe we're likely to start getting a bit of a rally up and up and out of this level here. So that 1350 is definitely, definitely a big key area. It's, it's not, it's no, it's, uh, it's no wonder why we're getting a little bit of resistance right now. And once again, on this daily chart here as well too. So for me guys, looking at this chart, looking at these gold and silver charts, we're seeing that we're just exactly what, what I'm saying here, like especially look at those monthly charts there guys. And I want you to keep an eye on the monthly charts. Once we start to break above that 1350, 
off to the races we go to the gdx as well too gdx what do we see here on the gdx it's gdx for me right now guys is looking very very bullish it's struggling to go down it's struggling to go up but if you look at this on a on a on a scale here let me delete everything off the screen here for a minute and if you look at this on a scale look at this here major high major higher low and now we're just holding through here so that tells me we are about to get this sort of we're about to get this sort of move not like that but we're likely to get a nice move we've had a basically a whole year worth of sideways movement to me that's getting ready for uh for, for what we call like a spring out of this again this is the monthly chart go have a look at the, go have a look look at the uh the weekly charts there sideways but once that sideways starts to spring up and out and again let's go to the monthly charts here for a minute this is the monthly charts here. Once again, you can see even on the GDXJ, you're getting, and, and the key here, the key here for when, when looking at the silver and gold stocks, we have this lower high, lower high, and look at that there, higher high, higher high, and then probably equal high there, higher high, higher low, finding major support. I do see we're going to start getting this sort of action here. We get, and you can see we've got like a bit of a major bottom through here. And if you look at that, shoulder, head, and shoulder so very 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 interesting to see what's actually happening on silver and gold and also the gold stocks as well